Hey, Joe Gilder here. Earl Daniels coming in hot with this question. Hey, Joe, it would be great if personas could add mid-side to Pro EQ. It would then be an extremely versatile tool. First of all, I will make the argument that it is already an extremely versatile tool based on the video he commented on was about how to use the dynamic EQ portion of Pro EQ, which is fantastic. By the way, and there are a lot of comments, go watch that video. There are a lot of comments that say, I use Pro EQ almost exclusively for all my EQing needs because it just gets the job done. So don't, there's this assumption sometimes that the software or the plugins that come with my DAW are inferior. I must buy other. That has not been my experience with Studio One. Hence the fact that I own like one paid plugin after all these years. And by the way, because I'm on YouTube, these software companies would give me their plugins for free. I legitimately just don't use them. So it's not a money thing. It's just legit. I get everything I need at a Studio One. So anyway, enough, enough of that. But um, what you may not know is that no, Pro EQ on its own does not have a mid-side button, a mid-side feature. But guess what does? Studio One. You can turn any plugin into a mid-side plugin. I'm going to show you how to do it today, how to recall that setting quickly so you're not having to build it from scratch every time. And if you're not familiar with what mid-side is, I'll start off with a quick explanation of it. So mid-side is this weird voodoo where you can take a stereo file that has left and right. So stereo means there's a left channel and a right channel. And mid-side applies this weird phasey algorithm thing to where instead of left and right, you're left with the center elements on the left side and the side elements on the right side. So let's say for just example, we've got bass guitar up the middle and then vocals on the sides. So you have all the vocals are panned hard left or hard right and the bass guitar is up the middle. With mid side, what you're able to do is isolate those sides and EQ or process them however you want. So when I, when I split them, it would be the bass would be on the right or on the left rather. Honestly, it's actually the, the mono signal of the entire mix. So the whole mix would be on the right, that's the center. And then the side section will have just the vocals. It somehow can extract the things happening just on the sides and put them on their own channel. Let me let me show you. How does that work and how does Studio One allow us to do that? Uh, first of all, I've got this mix that I was working on here that sounds kind of like this. So rock and roll, straight up the straight down the middle, like rock song. How do we do mid-side here? I'm going to show you how to build it from scratch, and then I'll show you how to save it. So the first thing we do is we grab our splitter tool, okay? Splitter is a plugin that allows us to do all kinds of crazy stuff that you used to have to do by creating a bunch of different buses, but it all happens kind of inside the little splitter environment here. Then we need to grab two copies of mix tool. So I'm going to throw mix tool one before the splitter and one after the splitter, okay? And... I'm going to just ignore this fat channel for now. That's not that's not a part. It's not invited to the party. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and just remove the fat channel for the sake of this demonstration. So everything you see here is just a part of this mid-side thing. Now, what do we do from here? The first thing we do is we click on splitter, and we change it to channel split. So a normal split means it sends everything. There's a stereo signal over to the right. There's a stereo signal over to the left. I get my lefts and rights confused. Channel split means that the left channel comes through here, the right channel comes through here. Frequency split lets us treat it almost like a, like a multiband processor. We're going to use channel split. So this is the left channel, this is the right channel. Now we're going to come up to mix tool. We're going to open that up for a second, and we're going to use a preset under mix tool called MS Transform. And what that does, all it does is clicks this MS Transform button, which stands for Midside Transform, not Mississippi Transform. Although that's what I always thought, because I grew up in Mississippi. That's not it. Sorry, Mississippi folks. That's not for you. Um, so it does this transform thing. It also adds 3 dB of gain. The way that mid-side works, it takes the volume down by 3 dB, doing its process thing. So this brings it back up. That's all that is. And then the other mix tool, we're going to do the same thing. Same preset. Mid-side transform, Mississippi transform, and plus 3. So to review, we've got three things happening so far. Mix tool with the mid-side transform, splitter, and then mix tool with mid-side transform again. So this first one splits the signal from normal left-right to mid-side, 
and then the second one puts it back together. So it reverses the mid side process. So while the signal is coming through this middle section, this left side is all the, the mid and this right side is all the side. Let's see what that sounds like. I will mute the center and you can hear this is just the sides of this mix. That's just wild to me. So to, to, one of the things that I actually, I got this wrong for a number of years, the mid is actually just the mono mix. So it has the mid and the sides in it, technically. The side, however, is where you can get creative because the side is only the things that are happening on the side. That's why when I muted the mid, we didn't hear kick drum or snare drum at all. We hear cymbals because cymbals happen. Cymbals get panned typically. We hear the guitars because they're panned out. But we ain't hearing kick and snare, which means, guess what? Now I could EQ those guitars differently. So if you have a great example of this is you've got some guitars that are panned hard left and right and they're super muddy and you're mastering this song. You can't go back and adjust the individual mix. This allows you to EQ those side guitars without messing with the center, for example. So now, how do we how do we turn this into mid side? Well, now that this is a mid side processor, we can put any plugin that we want in this. So, for example, if I wanted to EQ the sides, I could put this Pro EQ on that side, and I could do something like this. <laughs> You'll notice that EQ did not mess with the bass at all because the bass is right up the middle, but it just messed with the sides. Super, super interesting. Let me show you a more obvious solution just because this is really fun. Let me, uh, I'm going to just boost the high end on those guitars so you can hear it's only going to happen on the sides. pretty subtle because everything I'm doing is only happening on the sides. It's not affecting the middle, so I can get pretty crazy with it and do some pretty cool adjustments without completely ruining the entire mix. Either way, this is our mid-side EQ. We've turned Pro EQ, by the way, any EQ that you want, any compressor that you want, any processor that you want is now mid-side. So we can put anything we want here. So what I would do now, if we look at the channel that I'm putting this on, which is right here. We can see it's it's got some names here. What I would do is rename this. So I would rename this first one to um, enter mid enter mid side. Um, I love that. It's kind of like Enter Sandman. And now I would name this one to exit mid side. And this I'm gonna I can't rename the splitter. Okay. Um, and we'll call this one side EQ. And so if we had another EQ that was the center EQ, the mid EQ, we can rename that one as well so we know which one we're dealing with without having to open up the entire splitter and see what's there. So if I put a pro EQ here, then I could rename this one to mid EQ. And it actually changes the name of the plugin. By the way, I don't know if you knew you could do this. You can rename plugins um, mid EQ, side EQ. If you like it that way, set it up like this. If you'd rather have it just have a side EQ and no center EQ, that's fine too. Um, let's just leave it like this. And then from here, what do we do? Because nobody wants to set this up every time. This would be a pain to set up every time. What can we do instead? Come up to the top here and click on this little menu and scroll as far as you can to the bottom and you'll see this beautiful setting called Store Effects Chain. All right, what do we call it? We're gonna call this Mid Side EQ. And I can just say, okay, where does that go now? I'll show you. When you press F7, it opens up your window on the right-hand side. I usually have this set to the effects. And check out the very first place is the effects chain area. Before you get down to your individual plugins, which is where I spend most of my time, this top area is our effects chains. And I can come in here and I can find, check it out, mid-side EQ right there. That's the one I just created. So how does that work? Let's say I don't have any plugins here. Let's remove all these plugins. I've got my, let's say, mix bus. Let's say I've got a drum a drum bus that I want to mess with. So I remove all plugins on the drum bus, and I drag this mid-side EQ effects chain to the drum bus, and check it out. 
There's all the things we created and we can just say, cool, I wanna start working on the side EQ and bam, we are off to the races. This is a little more involved, a little more advanced. Do I use a lot of mid-side? No, I don't. I predominantly only use it in mastering and even then it's probably one in 30, one in 40 songs that I master, I'll actually use a little bit of mid-side, but it's a handy tool to familiarize yourself with, to at least know that it exists, because it will solve a specific problem at some point in your future. It's nice to know how to do it. Um, and if you, if you tend to forget how to set it up, setting up something like this is handy. As you can see, I've done this a few times in demonstrations, so I've set up several of these, but that's how you do it, and you can have this for yourself. Just take, follow the steps in this video, set up your own one, and when next time you need mid-side, you can just say, boom, and you're off to the races. And, like I said before, maybe you don't want to use Pro EQ, maybe you just want to have some sort of mid-side compression or distortion or whatever. All you, can, all you gotta do is drag whatever plugin you want to either side of this, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. See ya.